attractive. But I'll tell you one, we do love to give back to the community. For a while, our company has been donating uh, furniture and other goods because we do staging with our business. If you're not familiar with Stage to Sell Realty, staging is the key part of our business. So we have all the furniture needed to go into a home to make your house look like a model home. But um, we sometimes either get excess or sometimes things go out of style or um, we just have inventory that we want to give. And we thought that a ministry like PSM is perfect for us to be able to go in and give a household full of furniture to go in and, and uh, make someone comfortable to get them off on a, on a great new start to a new life. Yeah. Well, once again, if you'd like to help out, go to psmjax.org. That's psmjax.org. And we're going to play a song here in just a second. But, Kevin, before we do that, for folks that are maybe getting out of their car, going into Publix or something like that, a uh, quick sense of the real estate market here in St. John's County and St. Augustine. Are things as hot as they seem to be? Thanks. Yeah, you're, you're right. They are. Um, but there's a couple factors to that is your home still has to be priced right still has to be in a decent location and most importantly it still has to look good price appearance location are three things we talk about but the uh, the market um, has recovered significantly people are still flocking to northeast florida and really into st john's county and st augustine uh, we've had some significant growth in uh, listings um, up about 2.4 percent and uh, in fact september 2020 over September 2019 is up 12 percent in listings uh, uh, compared to last year. So that's a, uh, a great thing for the county, uh, but it's still a great time to sell a house. Yeah, absolutely. Well, if you have any questions at all, go to stagedtoselljax.com. That's J-A-X. Stagedtoselljax.com. We're going to play a song or two, and we're going to be coming right back with Kevin Grant and Terry Ketchum. They're live in the house. So yes. You are so smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, smooth like butter. Yeah. Like yeah. Butter, butter. I don't know about oh, that. I didn't realize it was live. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 It was beeping. I think yeah. someone was hitting when the people up there. We've got to turn it off. Oh, yeah. yeah. Turn the volume down so it doesn't beep on us. So. Oh, well, Terry, nice to meet you. Kind of nice to meet you. Karen. Hi, Karen. I see you have a color-coordinated mask. Well, I love pink. Oh, so my gosh. That's, that's every, really great. Almost everything I have. That's yeah. really great. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Well, I'm glad you Makes could fun. come and add Bye-bye. that dimension yeah. to the radio show. That was very clever on your part. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, it's a good a good match. I mean, yeah, that's is. one thing we talked about is being able to do kind of the interviews. We've done a lot of stuff about us the last few shows, so yeah. we need to to mix it up, you know, and do do something a little bit different. But that really connects with the listeners because then they mm-hmm. realize, well, you know, you're not just in it for you. Right. So yeah. Like, Absolutely. Yeah, and that's that's kind of what we got to at the end there. So yeah. I guess next week maybe tell some stories. Okay. You know, if we want to do that. Oh yeah, stories are the best. I love yeah. stories because yeah. people can connect to them. Yeah. You know, and then they say, "Oh, that sounds like." Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be stuff that prices haven't fallen. Yeah, which is good. It's good that there's a lot of activity. Um, yeah. But appraisers haven't really caught up to it yet, so there's some houses that sell for higher and then they don't appraise. Yeah, that's um, not good. And, um, and, and prices have gone up at a reasonable number. It's not like we've got this bubble mm-hmm. all of a sudden a year mm-hmm. from now, everyone's going to say, oh, everything's too high priced. Mm-hmm. So I think mm-hmm. we're at a, kind of a, a steady growth phrase, which is really what we want. Yeah. 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 And of course, you being the only one that did the stage at the same time, it's just perfect. Yeah, it's been good for us. I heard the commercial. There we go. I Thank you. <coughs> Earth, Wind, and Fire here on 103.9 WSOS. It's lunchtime here in St. John's County. We're spending it with Kevin Grant. He with Stage to Sell Realty. Stage to Sell Realty. You can connect with them at stagedtoselljax.com. And that is the differentiator, right, Kevin Grant? That's what makes you different than other real estate agencies. And then every property that you guys list for sale, you're going to stage. And it's going to cost them how much? It doesn't cost them anything. In fact, it doesn't cost the homeowner anything. And... If you're part of our team as a realtor, which we've got uh, a dozen of us now and looking to add more, it doesn't cost the realtor anything. That's something that people forget is some people think, oh, the realtor's just going to pay for it. No, we pay for it as a company. We provide that service because we think it's the only way to sell homes properly. 
why it is the key differentiator, especially with all of us, you know, sort of narrowing home choices by looking at our phone, obviously looking at computer, your laptop or your tablet and trying to say, well, I think I want to look at these homes. You're looking at the pictures that are online and the photographs of homes that are not staged often don't fare well. That's right. Yeah. You ju the, the buyers just go on to the next one. Yeah. Um, you know, that people are looking for some key things in a home. They want the kitchen to look right. They want the, 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 the master bath, that kind of thing. But if, if the photos aren't there and we talk about, then I just think I've said this before, peanut butter and jelly. If you don't have the peanut butter and the jelly together, which is staging and professional photography, you got one without the other, you don't have the right mix. Yeah, that's Kevin Grant once again, and he's with Staged to Sell Realty. Staged to Sell Realty, go to stagetoselljacks.com. Uh, I know you do a great job of keeping up with what's going on in the market here in St. John's County, which by all accounts is red hot. Any sort of factoids that pop out at you as you look back over the last 30 or 45 days of what's happening with residential real estate here in St. John's County? Yeah, one uh, thing that I just uh, looked at today is um, year over year, so looking at September 2020 versus September uh, 2019, there's a 9% increase in median sales price and a 22% average sales price increase. So um, some of that is because there's a lot of backlog that happened and a lot of homes closed in September that maybe uh, because of the, the, the pandemic things kind of slowed down. But um, year over year, we have that increase in sales price. And the median sales price has gone up some, but it's not a balloon. We were mm -hmm. just talking about that a little, a little bit off air that um, uh, we see it going up, but at a sustainable pace. Um, I don't see it being something that we're going to have a bubble a year or two years from now, which is great. So we've still got the very hot market, but it's not overheating, in my opinion. Yeah, so many people compare it back to 2005, 2006, but that was pretty much an investor-driven balloon. This is driven by people actually moving here, wanting to be here, and, and using these homes as their primary residence. That's right. Very different scenario. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the economy is in a very different spot. You know, we've had a um, kind of a, a, a fake uh, economic issue, you know, or a created or a generated economic issue as opposed to something that was systemic issues with the economy mm -hmm. back you know, right, 13 right. years, ago, yeah. years yeah. ago. Hey, you have a great partnership too, obviously, with uh, Presbyterian Social Ministries here in Northeast Florida, and Terry Ketchum is here with you live in the studio, and she's the CEO of that great nonprofit organization. Kevin, talk to me a little bit about your partnership with them. Sure, thank you, Kevin, yeah. Uh, Terry does a great job with her organization, and we have partnered to help um, help her help people uh, get back on their feet. And uh, we've got a couple uh, recent uh, things that we have done with them. And so, Terry, I'd love to hear about the success stories that we've had over the last few weeks. Awesome. Thank you, Kevin. And Kevin. Yeah. Um, so our agency moves um, previously chronic homeless individuals into their own apartment. <clears throat> Typically, the apartment would be empty. There would be nothing in it. Our agency um, doesn't have a lot of funding to do all the extra stuff, but we try to go and get your know, cleaning products and some, some different things. But we didn't have, or we'd reach out to our donors and say, hey, does anybody have a bed? Does anybody have a dresser? And then we go pick it up. Our staff people would go pick it up and deliver it. And something happened to say you know we really need a partnership and when you put it out to the universe to pray whatever your particular um, belief is to say this is what our agency needs we're looking for this partner and funny thing is my daughter and her friend listed with stage to sell and so when they were doing all this I said Gee, I wonder if they would have, you know, a couple beds to donate, you know, let's see, let's see, I ask, uh, I'm ask them if they have some donates and they'll give us, and all of a sudden I get these emails start coming in, oh, we'd love to partner, we'd love to do this, and so it just bloomed from there. So now we have this wonderful partnership with Stage to Sell to, they came in, measured everything, came back with all this furniture and staged the house. It was beautiful. So now when our um, people come in off the street, they walk into an apartment that has everything in it and it is so beautiful. So all of the staff are sitting around going, can you come to our house? Can you come to our house? Oh my gosh, can you come to our house? But it was so beautiful. And so I'll, I'll save another story for later, but that's where the partnership began um, to say, um, they deserve th new stuff too. Two things that we forgot 
but that didn't ever come to our mind because we don't use them because we didn't bring light bulbs or a trash can. <laughs> yeah. But just about everything else. Yeah, everything. And so, I mean, even a little knickknack on the table and, and we were joking around with the fake fruit. You know, yeah, everybody's got a bowl of fake fruit. You got that on the table. Pictures on the walls, loofah in the shower, towels. I mean, everything. When you look at all those fancy, you know, homes on the online on stage to sell, all the fancy ones, that's how the apartment looked. So now I have not had a place to stay. I'm coming in off of the street, and I'm walking into this beautiful apartment. That's awesome. Well, once again, if you'd like to help uh, with the great work that uh, Presbyterian Social Ministries does here in our part of the world, go to psmjax.org. That's psmjax.org. If you're somebody thinking of selling your home here in St. Augustine or St. John's County, maybe you're going to wait until after the holidays. That's okay, right, Kevin? They should still probably talk to you now just to start putting the wheels in motion. You know what? That's right. Uh, we um, are best when we can get in early and help you get your house ready. Because we talk about staging a home, but that really goes from the landscape in the front to the landscape in the back and everything in between. We'll come in and do a market-ready report that is unique from anybody else. We'll spend the time to partner with you to get your homework done. And so we even have the ability to help you pay for that kind of stuff. We can bring in vendors. We can bring in someone to loan you money. We can even help with that to make sure that that house looks its best. And sometimes that takes a couple months. So if you're looking at going uh, live in January, this actually isn't a bad time to start. There you go. That's Kevin Grant once again. He's with Staged to Sell Realty. Go to stagedtoselljax.com for more information. That's stagedtoselljax.com. Very good. Woo, so, woo. so play one song. We'll come back and do at least one more. Probably two more. Okay. Yeah, yeah, great. Um, well, that's great. You're doing such good work around. Oh gosh, this is. It's I mean, really this partnership people. is amazing. Yeah, really? Apartments were you must beautiful. Have like a long list of people that you could help. Um. So our agency gets referrals from an like a central intake system. So if we have an opening, we let them know that we have an opening. But yeah, there's always people on the waiting sure, list. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, affordable housing is there's no there's no affordable yeah. housing. So and all, like especially the people that work downtown. I mean, how do they how do they afford to get there? Yeah. There's no, and there's no place to park. There's no place to live. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's it's it's. I mean, even if you have a minimal job, affordable housing is just we just don't have it. We don't have enough of it. Right. We don't have and enough of it. And there's suffering in the city. Yeah. They can't get people. Yeah. And there's no place for the people that want to work. Yep. Go live. Yeah. One thing we forget about, yeah. Kevin, if we can, maybe I'll segue to it, is that we do work with buyers. All right. You know, I know heavy no, because... Um, yeah, don't forget them. Yeah. yeah it is, uh, and, and the way that we can we can transition, probably, um, you can just throw the question to me and I can transition, but uh, uh, yeah, we talk about it being a hot market, but there's still plenty of opportunity for buyers, and a lot of that is in the new construction world, mm. uh, because... You know, yeah, it's everywhere, it seems so like. Much new, in, in, especially in, really, the northern half of St. John's County is booming with new construction. Wow. And uh, so I want to make sure we remind people that we can work with them on that. Mm. You don't want to forget buyers because yeah. that's very important. Well, I would think in new construction, so you really want to have an advocate, right? You know, a lot of people are thinking, well, if exactly. I just deal with the construction rep, you know, at the side mm -hmm. of them, you get more money, but you have to talk to them off air, and they'll say that's not the case, and mm -hmm. they don't make they're not going to, the consumer doesn't get any more money by working just with the people at the model home mm -hmm. as opposed to bringing in somebody like you guys. That's right. Right. We'll the site agent that. gets paid the same one way or the other. Right. Mm -hmm. you know. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So we can do that and maybe and you've got the other stories yep. that we can talk mm -hmm. about. Yeah, the people, they're professionals in their job. They're not professionals in buying a house. Right. They well, think they, they know everything, but they really don't. They need somebody with experience right. to yeah. guide them. Well, the site agents work for the builders. Yes. Right. So that's who they get. Right. They're so everything. Super nice to you as yeah. a buyer. But so everything's yeah. wonderful. Buy this house. Yeah. But, but you know what can go wrong. You know what to yeah. look for. Yeah. Yeah. And, that's, and it doesn't cost them anything. No. Right? That's right. So that's the bottom line. They're getting free advice. An advocate yeah. for free. Yep. I think some people, they forget that, that realtor is, I you don't have to do. pay a realtor. Yeah, yeah. The most interesting thing is that we were in, <coughs> people think that we get paid basically when we show a house, you know. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's this nice. time, we get nothing. <laughs> that's not nice true. Racket. That's part of the deal. <laughs> there we go.
<coughs> Vicki Sue Robinson here on 1039 WSOS. It's lunchtime here in Northeast Florida, and we're spending it uh, live here in the studio with Kevin Grant with Staged to Sell Realty. And also, Terry Ketchum is here with us. She is the CEO of Presbyterian Social Ministries here in Northeast Florida. Check out psmjax.org for more information. We've got some interesting stories we're going to share from her in just a second. Kevin, though, I know we've been talking a lot about how people who are thinking of selling their home should talk to you all because you stage every property that you sell, maximizing what people are going to get for their home. But buyers need help too, and especially in this market because it's so competitive, right? Average time spent on market is probably right around 20 days. You know, you gotta move fast, you gotta be aggressive. That's right, that's right. Gotta yeah, have a strategy, and, right? Yeah, we talk about multiple offers and alcohol, all that kind of stuff. We talk about how hot the market is uh, for, for the seller, but you know what? There's a buyer on the other side of that transaction. So we work with buyers all the time, and um, we, we have a couple programs that are specifically designed for buyers, just like we have the one uh, for, for sellers. Uh, but um, yeah, it's a hot market, especially in St. Johns County, but one of the things that we have a huge benefit here is that we've got a lot of new construction going on. So if you are looking at buying a house, we're happy to sell you some, you know, show you some existing homes, but um, grab us, and in fact, let me back that up, grab a realtor before you go into a new construction visit, before you go see a model home. I encourage anyone, if it's not staged to sell, get some realtor to go with you to represent you, because as soon as you walk into that model home and you register, a realtor's not gonna be able to help you if you haven't given their name at the same time. We'd love it to be us because also we provide a VIP buyer service where we'll come in and hang your pictures after you have moved into the house. So we use our staging and design expertise to help you make your house look beautiful to live there. Um, and I'm also guarantee that I get you a home warranty for at least the first year when you buy a home with us. But use a realtor when you're looking at new construction. Yeah, that's a real <laughs> misconception, I think, right, Kevin, that a lot of people have. They're like, well, if I bring a realtor in when I'm looking at new construction, I go to one of these model homes that's in a new community, I'm going to pay more money. Uh, in reality, that is absolutely not the case. You're actually going to pay less because at least you have somebody that's fighting for you. That's right. We can come in and we can get some other deals for you. Many times we have great relationships with the site agents, so we know what kind of um, offerings, additional offerings they have. We can even give you some other lenders that you can work with that might have better deals than what the builder's giving you. So um, you know, just use us uh, for some other options uh, to, uh, to, to bring you when you're looking at new construction. Hey, if you're just tuning in, that's the voice of Kevin Grant with Stage to Sell Realty. And of course, Kevin works closely and his uh, real estate firm works closely with Presbyterian Social Ministries. Maybe reintroduce our guest, Kevin, and, and explain to our listeners why you felt it you know, a good thing for Stage to Sell to be tied with Presbyterian Social Ministries. Yeah, we're here with Terry Ketchum, the CEO of Presbyterian Social Ministries. They work all throughout the uh, Northeast Florida area, but do a lot of great work right here in St. Johns County. They um, help people who are just in a tough time get back on their feet. And uh, the great match there is that uh, providing a place to live for those people is key. You know, once you get a, uh, a home, you can take care of some of the major parts of your life and then you can get everything else in shape. And we help them with bringing in the furniture and uh, the, the art and accessories, even down to some of the, the, the towels and things that they might need to get going. Uh, so we're here with Terry, um, and you've got some, some other stories about some of our successes. Yeah, man. Thanks, Kevin. So we just had um, Kevin come in, his team come in, and they staged um, a home for a single mom with three children. And so when um, they got all done, we have it. It'll be coming up on their website soon or on their Facebook. Yeah, I can't wait for it to get edited. It'll be done. But when the family walked in, just, I mean, they could hardly even get in the front door. They just broke down. The mom was crying. The kids were crying. And one of them turned and said, um, we haven't had a home in a long time. Mm. And then they went running through the apartment. You'll see it on the video. And they were jumping on the bed. It was like, they were like, is this my bed? 
yep, that's your bed. And they were jumping on their bed. You know, we love seeing seeing that, even though we say don't jump on the bed. But, you know, it's their bed. And they were running around. They were looking at all the cupboards and just saying, this is our home, Mom. This is our home. This is really, and they kept questioning it. You know, this is this is our home. Yes, this is, this is all yours. I, I can keep this stuff. Yes. Stage to sell, donated all this furniture for you. So the, the, the faces just tell it all to say, I didn't have a place yesterday. And now not only do I have a place and keys, I have furniture that I can sit down on. Yeah. Well, it's inspiring stuff. And if you would like to pitch in, of course, just a, you know, a little bit, whether it's resources, cash, or what have you, can make a huge difference, right, Terry? Absolutely. Uh, money is always nice. But um, if you have hands and a talent or the, just the desire to say, I want to make a difference, um, absolutely reach out to us on our website. And we'll be glad to connect you with that opportunity. PSMJAX.org is the website we'd like you to check out. That's PSMJAX, J-A-X.org. And getting back to the real estate front, if you are buying or selling real estate, residential real estate here in St. John's County, you need to get in touch with Kevin and Adrian at stage to sell jax jax.com. We'll be back. All right. All right so one more. Um, okay. Whatever you'd like to hit on. Let's see. What kind of things do you have people doing when they're volunteering? <coughs> So with the housing, um, it could be, um, well, now that we have a, a, <clears throat> a realtor we're working on, that don't, I don't have to have anybody say, hey, can you go pick up this bed? It used to be that. Can you go, does anybody have a truck? Can they go pick up this bed? Can they go pick up this dresser? Um, but it would be the household stuff. We'll say, can you put together um, a basket, you know, of household stuff, cleaning, soap, anything, you know, like that. And so some people go to the dollar store and put together, you know, something mm -hmm. simple. So you could, um, you could talk about that on, okay. on there to be specific and give people ideas about okay. what it is, that how they could help instead of a generic. Okay. I think it's and great. Perfect. We can even maybe back up a little bit how long you've been around and how many people you've helped. Sure. Okay. Maybe yes. if you think okay. that that, you know, toot your horn a little bit, we, you know, or, or success, you know, I mean, I'm sure there are some people that maybe mm -hmm. don't succeed, but, you know, it, 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 if yeah. there are percentages you want to share, you know, 90% of the people okay. are successful. And you know, if there's anything like that, that could be useful. Okay. Or even if it's one person. If you have yeah. one right. specific example of somebody exactly. that yeah. was uh, at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And you guys swooped in and played your magic thing. <laughs> Got it. Made it all happen. And then look what happened to them. Now they're right. holding a job. Or so if I don't talk enough and you want me to say more, just tell me. Yeah. I don't know how long you want me to talk, so I don't know. I think it's we going go, to we'll go like this. Okay. Yeah. But if it's no, more, then you okay. just you're leave me into fine. another question. Yeah. You're been fine. I kind of, if I start to try to repeat myself, then I know I've said everything I need to mm. say, you know. But that's okay because the people are turning, yeah. you know. You're not getting Well, I mean, in like one there. little. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm thing, talking yeah. for two minutes and I keep repeating yeah. myself, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time to move on. Help me out here. You just say, Kevin, what do you think? Right, right, <laughs> That's right. what I would do. And two of us will start talking. <laughs> At yeah. the same time. Yeah. Kevin one or Kevin two? <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> Martha and the Mandela's here for back in the 1960s on 103.9 WSOS. We're live during this lunch hour. Kevin Grant is here with me. Hello, Will. Yes, and he is one of the owners at Staged to Sell Realty. What an interesting concept, right? I mean, a lot of us see these beautifully staged homes. If you watch any HGTV, uh, that's the way to go. But you guys do that every day. Every day. That's where we've got our warehouse, uh, about 5,000 square feet, that is ready to fill your home or enhance what you've already got. If you live in the home, obviously we're not gonna kick you out, but what we'll come in and do is use what you've got, maybe bring in some of our stuff and make it look like a model home. Yeah, you know, so often uh, we look at places online and look on our phone or whatever, Zillow or, you know, or realtor.com would be better, obviously. Um, and you see these homes that are sometimes virtually staged, and I think that is jarring for folks, mm -hmm. right? Because it looks more animated than real. That's not what you guys do. No, actually, some of the virtual staging doesn't look too bad when you see it on your computer. You know, it's gotten better, uh, but 
the jarring thing is when you actually go in the home mm. and you get there yeah. and you expect all this lovely furniture and it's just laid out perfectly mm. and it's a dark floor and an empty wall and sometimes flaws that maybe get hidden up by that, uh, that virtual stuff. And the user experience is so bad that it's a huge letdown from what you had online. And so when you see ours online, it looks the best it can be, and it looks the same when you get there. Yeah, that's Kevin Grant once again with Staged to Sell Realty. You can connect with them at staged to sell jacks, J A X dot com. That's staged to sell jacks dot com. And as we wrap things up, Kevin, just to remind our listeners why you guys work with Presbyterian Social Ministries here in Northeast Florida. Well, the, the main thing is because we love to give back to the community. The community has been so good to us. Uh, my wife is a uh, and partner is uh, a North Florida native. Um, I'm a uh, recovering Yankee who's been here about 20 years. <laughs> and so maybe, uh, maybe I'm a native now because I've been here for, for almost half my life. Uh, but we love to give back to the community. Um, we've raised kids here and done what we can with volunteering. They're out now, so this is a new way for us to spend some time and do something that's important for uh, the St. John's and Jacksonville community. Well, uh, before we let you go, Terry, any sort of closing thoughts to our listeners as to why they should get involved? Obviously, there's a lot of charitable organizations out there that people can participate with. My sense is that you all sort of function lean and mean, not a lot of administrative overhead, just trying to take care of people, right? Absolutely, Kevin. Our staff is six. That's all. We are, <clears throat> we are a small staff. But I want to I wanna do, I want to address some thoughts that, you know, there's a, a misconception and uh, the stereotyping of what homelessness looks like, right? Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily always that person that's um, on the side of the road asking for a couple bucks for the, the, the whatever, food or the bus or whatever. You know, there's affordable housing. We were talking about this. Affordable housing is so, there's just not enough of it. So it could be a working parent it could be a working mom and dad and still unable to just get over a hump that maybe they set back and so they they can't afford housing so uh, when you when you see and hear the term homeless just understand that picture is much bigger than just that person um, that we think it is um, one way you can get involved, especially with this piece, the housing piece, is um, Stage to Sell is so wonderful. They staged the whole apartment. It was beautiful. But sometimes we just need uh, maybe a gift basket with some soap or the loofah that goes in the, although they do do all those little things. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the cleaning, some dish soap, some, all those things. Um, when the kid, when we have kids, we like to provide some, some toys or some books that we can put in their room. So if those kind of things are something that you can say, hey, I, I can do that. I'll, I'll add to that. That's certainly something that someone can step in and do besides just giving money. Money is always nice. Yeah. Well, once again, if you'd like to learn more on how you could pitch in, go to psmjax.org. That's psmjax.org, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And Kevin, uh, obviously, if you're uh, somebody out there listening to us and you're either thinking of selling or you're interested in buying residential real estate, you guys are ready to help out, right? We are. We're ready. Give us a call. Give us a try. Um, we take a unique approach to really provide the best of service that we can on either side. And we thank WSOS for being here and give us the opportunity to talk a little bit. Absolutely. Thank you. Now, thank you both for coming by. Have a great lunchtime. All right. It's 25 minutes now before 1 o'clock. Very nice. Thank you. Good job. That was Good so nice. Yes. Yeah.